Sorry, I took a bit of a hiatus, you might say, um, but we're back, and today we're going to be talking about tying classic deceivers. This is what we're going to end up tying today. Um, deceivers come in all sorts of colors and flavors. This is one that I call the Craig's Night Deceiver. Uh, been very good for tarpon, uh, baby tarpon, and caught my biggest snook and biggest redfish on this fly. Uh, really great fly. Here's another one that I use down in the Everglades. This one's called the Fire Tiger Deceiver. Uh, again, got your feathers in the back and then this is just a typical hair collar. This is what we're going to be uh, emulating today. You start off, we've got a uh, uh, Damakatsu B10S Stinger hook in one eye. I'm using uh, gel spun poly, you know, gel spun uh, thread uh, in 12 watt. Um, we're going to be using just typical grizzly feathers and three different colors of hair, uh, starting with white and then a light olive and a darker olive. To start off with, you know, get a couple of feathers married so they're about the same length and then you want to bring in the other two and you, again try to get these things about the same length bring them all together so the splay is the two sides are coming together like this not splayed out like that um, Try to get the links all about the same and you end up with something that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go with the length. I tend to tie mine a little on the long side. You can see how the length is on this. This is a little longer than uh, one and a half, maybe one and a quarter to one and a half times the hook length. And I'm going to trim all four of them at the same time and you know a lot of people pluck all the hair or all the veins off I don't I'm gonna bring this whole group of four right up on top and I'm gonna thread forward just a little bit and I'm gonna capture this right at the tips and you don't want to do this real tight and you can see I've got all four feathers lined up looks like a razor that's perfect um, once you've got it all on give it a little tug up not down and bring your thread forward. Okay. Next step is I've got about four strands of Opal Mirage Flashaboo. I'm really fond of this stuff. It's good and flashy. I'm going to thread it across the hook right in the middle. These are full lengths. And I'm going to tie those down so four on your side, four on my side. And we're going to trim those off, or trim the length of that. And then I'm going to thread forward. Last step, I've got my day's flex mint. I'm going to add a drop of that right on where those feathers are uh, tied in. Now there's a couple of different ways. I'm going to do the you know more of the beginner's way of doing it. I'm going to start off with eh, maybe about that much white bucktail. I'm going to place that on top of the hook. We're going to measure for the length. 
Now I want it about halfway down the feathers. I don't want it all the way. I'm going to trim that off. And we're going to tie that in. Again, a little bit of Dave's Flex Mint. Glue that stuff down to the hook. Okay, on top of this black, or I'm sorry, on top of the white, I'm going to put two strands of black crystal flash. This represents a lateral line of the bait fish. I'm going to put two on your side, two on my side. And I'm not going to trim that. Now we're going to turn this thing over. And, you know, I tend to tie everything pretty sparsely. I don't tend to use a hell of a lot of materials. But this is one exception. You need a, a fair amount of uh, bucktail on there. But, first of all, again, on the bottom side of this, we're going to start off with about five strands of Opal Mirage Accent. The twisted version of that Opal Mirage I used in the back. And we're going to put that in, again, about four or five strands on your side, about four or five on mine. And then, you can see I've got a fair, fairly decent sized gob of white bucktail that we're going to put on the bottom. Now, you can do this in one step where you're putting all of the bucktail on it at one time and just kind of roll it around the hook a little bit. But this makes it a little easier for somebody that hasn't done this before. Cut that off and bring it in and capture. And I'm going to squish it just a little bit as I tie it in. Okay, kind of a little bit on both sides of my hook point. And we're going to bring it back. And again, you can never use too much of this stuff. If you glue the materials down to the, you know, as you go, it'll stay on the hook a lot better. Okay, you can see where we're at now. We've got a fair amount. Next is a little bit of light olive um, bucktail. And don't need a heck of a lot of this. I'm going to place that on top of my white on top. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer than the white bucktail that I've put down already. And we're going to tie this in. Another dab of glue. Next, since we're doing an olive, I've got about four or five strands of olive crystal flash that I'm going to put down on either side of this olive on top here. Again, I'm being it over the hook, or over the thread, I'm sorry. And we're going to bring it in and give it a quick tie down so it runs along the sides of that olive. Now I'm going to put just a hint of this darker olive on the very top. Um, again, this is extremely sparse 
um, you know, we're talking pencil lead. And get all the excess out. And I'm going to place that on top, get the length about right. Trim. And tie that in right on top. Okay, last step, I've got a couple of strands of an olive holographic Blashaboo. Uh, these are full lengths, so I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to cut it in half again. And then as we're putting it on, I'm not going to, I'm going to have this a little longer than this, so it comes out in two lengths. I'm going to lay it in on top. And this is done. Now, one thing you can add, uh, a lot of people add a gill. I put a little bit of red uh, rabbit hair right down here on the bottom. Uh, we're going to skip that phase. And to finish the fly, you got to get you know a couple of eyes glued on. The next step would be put um, some epoxy over the uh, over this head, and then stick it on a couple of two-dimensional eyes. In this case, it'd probably be rather than these red ones, uh, probably that silver holographic uh, on the on the eyeball say three sixteenths in diameter and then you're uh, you're good put another coat of epoxy over the top and it's all done let's what finish this and trim one more dab of glue There we have a olive deceiver, olive and wine. Thanks.